The CEO of ChatGPT, OpenAI, Sam Altman, has testified and he fears some of the potential dangers of AI. So let's deep dive into this update in the latest AI news. So let's start off with this video and this is from Sky News, the Senator Richard Blumenthal and he opens up the hearing with AI. So let me just show you a short little clip and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Too often, we have seen what happens when technology outpaces regulation. So that short second, essentially the full minute of the video is basically an AI generated audio of his voice. And personally, from those first few seconds, I could tell it was AI generated. However, for someone who's not as up to date in the space, they might have never noticed this. Or if you're simply listening to an audio at home, you might not be able to tell the difference. And I thought it was interesting that they included this example because AI to audio has been around for many years. It just hasn't had that highlight shown effect until ChatGPT and all these other AI companies have been out there. So what exactly do I mean? For example, Google Translate. This has been out for quite some time. And as long as I can remember, it definitely has had the text to audio for quite a few years. So if I just go ahead and play this real quick. Hi, how are you doing today? You can see that sounds quite robotic and and clearly most people could see that that does not sound like a human. However, platforms such as TikTok, social media platforms have voice generations with multiple different people that the people today, many people growing up in social media era have been able to write out whatever phrase they want. And it has someone talk and sounds extremely realistic. And no one has really mentioned anything about that for at least the past few years that has been out. So going back with that example from a senator, I thought it was quite interesting to see. Now again, there are a lot of dangers, cons with text to audio being some more advanced. There are softwares out there to date that are I've seen can replicate the human voice extremely well. And that becomes a problem when bad actors use it. But in the overall view, I've seen the text audio for quite some time. And I think the fact that it's becoming more realistic is the problem that it's gonna be hard for people to decipher what's real and what's not. And now some quick highlights from The Verge regarding Congress's meeting on Tuesday. So essentially, the main thing is that they're still unclear on how to regulate AI. There were a few things that they added and they talked about, and potentially one was creating a new regulatory agency that essentially would be overlooking all of this. Now, there's some comments regarding this one cost money, two is the time it takes for this to be set up. And in general, at least from my own thoughts, at the rate AI is progressing, I don't even know at this point what's going to be happening at the end of this year, let alone next year. So it's so difficult in my own personal view on how to put laws or rules around something that you don't even know is going to happen in a year from now. So again, at least from just overall thoughts, it seems like it's something that's very difficult to predict the future because at one point just a year ago, AI, I'm sure many people didn't even know was a thing, let alone previous years before even ChatGPT hype was out there. Now, almost no one understood what AI was, only the people that were already in the space or saw potential of it. And another thing was that they talked about putting laws that basically made AI companies liable for harms that they inflict on users. Now, again, that is an interesting take and it's one of those things where it's almost how can you prevent users from doing bad things on your platform if you put obviously all the precautions up there. So again, it's in general, for example, there's AI companies out there already. There's so many tools such as AI image generation, AI video creation, text to audio, whatever you can think of that a human can do there's probably going to be AI created or there already is some sort of tool being out there 
the only difference is which one is mainstream, which one are people using, and then which ones become a fad and they just disappear. So for example, when this comment, at least my general thoughts on this is being liable, I think it's something where obviously you can put in all the rules on your application saying you can't do this, can't do that. We'll put in all these constrictions on what can be created, what cannot. But at the end of the day, technology, there's bugs, there's glitches, and there's bad actors out there. So I think in that sense, it's going to be very difficult to prevent a lot of bad actors, for example, from doing some things, especially one, because this focuses on the US as of now, but there's so many other countries out there in the world and they have their own laws, their own rules, their own AI softwares that are completely non-existent to other countries that they don't even know exist or where they might know, but they don't have any access to their information. And it's going to be difficult to stop everyone unless everyone combines together, which most likely is something that is a very difficult task to do. So in terms of regulation, I think it's something that we'll just have to wait and see how AI progresses. And then as it goes on, that is how it would go from there. Now, there are some bills already out there that are restricting the use of AI. And particularly, some would be disclosing in political ads, AI generated content. Now, a lot of things that they mentioned were regarding being more transparent. So for example, it's telling you that this speech was AI generated. This video was AI generated. This image was AI generated. And at the end of the day, only the top companies or softwares out there that can actually determine if something's real or fake would be able to put this into action. Because for the average person out there, if they never heard of AI, never heard of ChatGPT, and you told them which image is AI generated and which one is not, at this point, even I won't even be able to tell unless I knew beforehand that you used, uh, for example, an AI image generator, or for example, you used a ChatGPT to create a paragraph essay or whatever you needed to use AI for. Even people who know AI currently, it's hard to decipher unless they know previously what the person did to create the content. So at the end of the day, this is interesting because there is at least some sort of progress and worry around AI and the potential to regulate it, but only time will tell. So do share your thoughts. What do you think is a solution to this AI craze? And if you want to see the latest updates in the AI space, be sure to like and subscribe.